After weeks of protests from family, Attorney General Keith Ellison's office will take over the murder case of Zaria McKeever. The case recently turned controversial after the Hennepin County attorney declined to charge two teenagers accused in the murder as adults. Governor Walls then decided to sign off on reassigning the case. Danny Spiewak spoke with McKeever's family tonight about this huge decision. So I'm looking at my phone, it rings, I'm like, hello? Tiffany Epps got a call Thursday from someone named Tim. Tim who? Tim Walls. I'm like, oh, Tim Walls, the governor? Ah! I'm like, Mom, Mom, it's Tim Walls. Governor Walls informed Epps that the murder of her sister Zaria McKeever will now be prosecuted by Attorney General Keith Ellison rather than Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty. Zaria can finally get some justice. McKeever's family was outraged by Moriarty's decision last month we want justice. to offer plea deals to two teenage brothers carrying two-year sentences in a juvenile facility if they testified against McKeever's ex-boyfriend, Eric Haynes. According to a criminal complaint, Haynes drove the 15-year-old and 17-year-old to McKeever's house last November and gave them the murder weapon, but the teenagers kicked down her door and the 15-year-old allegedly fired the shots. Ellison says he deserves the case because Moriarty's office acted, quote, so far outside the normal course for the prosecution of such a heinous crime. Now everything should happen the way it's supposed to happen. But Moriarty says Ellison's involvement, quote, is deeply troubling and should alarm prosecutors across the state, arguing that it undermines the longstanding constitutional authority of elected prosecutors. McKeever's family disagrees. This is just a wake up call. Prosecute, don't public defend, and then no one will have to step in to take over. Ellison acknowledges that it is probably too late to change the plea deal for the 17 year old, but the 15 year old's case is ongoing. None of it will bring back McKeever. She should be here. In a statement tonight, Moriarty says she stands by her decision not to pursue the two teenagers in the adult system. She says all along she has balanced the need for justice and accountability with the age of the two suspects and what she says their need is for rehabilitation. Randy.